I'm CJ with Stutter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to build these really cool DIY shelves on Starter Builds. What is up guys, CJ here with Starter Builds, and in today's video we're going to be building floating shelves for the nursery. Uh, this project is very, very DIY friendly, and we're going to be able to do this with a two by eight by eight foot long and some three fourth dials. You've probably seen a ton of videos on this. I actually saw a Ryobi video by Ben Ueda. Um, that's what I'm gonna be replicating today. It's very DIY friendly. So this is the materials we're gonna need. Two by eight by eight, of course. As well as the dolls. Now these shelves probably won't be the strongest shelves, but they're gonna be great for little knickknacks or trinkets or picture frames, just little things like that. So I'm excited to build this for the nursery, so stay tuned for the rest of the build. All right, starting at the uh, miter saw here, we'll go over there and we'll cut three individual pieces at 24 inches in length. Once you have that, you're going to measure out three different marks. The uh, end mark should be two inches from the end and then one in the middle. You'll use a 3 8 inch drill bit to drill those holes. Make sure they're several inches deep to allow for the dowels. Once you have those drills, you'll go to the table saw and cut off one one half inch off the end, sand that down, and then you can see here using the flush trim saw to cut off the dowels. And now we'll be ready to stain these and get these installed onto our wall. have two of the floating shelves set up in the nursery here. I'm going to be walking you through how to set this up. Uh, again, these will hold a, a fair amount of weight. I wouldn't recommend putting a lot of heavy objects on there. We're just going to be putting a little bit of knickknacks on there, but essentially you're going to want to measure out your studs. Usually they're 16 on center, so we have a mark at 16 and a mark at 32. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill the holes and we'll get back to putting the shelf up. Got this set up. I only had some leftover Craig pocket hole screws, two and a half inches, so I'm going to use those. So let's get this attached. I already had made my mark on the wall of how far apart the shelves are going to be. The other thing you'll want is a level. I want to make sure that when installing this, it's level. Right. Here is the shelf. Now we will be putting it in. Perfect. And there you have it three floating shelves. Very cheap, very DIY friendly. Works out pretty well. Obviously, again, these aren't going to hold the strongest amount of weight, but they'll get the job done for what we're doing here. Thanks so much for watching, viewing, subscribing. If you think I earned it, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Again, I'm just a, a DIY dad here trying to build and learn as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you feel like I earned a subscription, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button or even that like button. Again, this is a very DIY friendly project. Obviously these aren't going to hold a ton of weight because um, we're using dowels, but for little knickknacks, for little things like that, for very cheap DIY shelves, 
Um, this is an affordable way to do it. Obviously, there's tons of other ways to do it as well. You can use epoxy and metal. Um, you can get a lot stronger bond too as well. But thanks so much for wa watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the builds.